This is Blue Derby, one of the most famous mountain bike destinations in Australia. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this absolute gem of a bike park. Insane. <laughs> I kicked on all of them. <laughs> Damn. So good. You have to come in and do that. Blue Derby Bike Park is located in Tasmania, in the small town of Derby. This place is home to about 200 people and is roughly one and a half hours drive east of Launceston. So there will need to be a bit of planning involved to get out here. My suggestion is flying into Launceston, then hiring a car and driving to Derby. The drive is a bit windy and reception can be limited in some spots. Another option if you have a crew is getting one of the Derby shuttle companies to pick you up from the airport. Some of the companies offer package deals as well so this is worth emailing them and getting a quote or asking a few questions about how it all works. I'll leave a few links below in the description. Accommodation in Derby is limited but generally you will find a place to stay, no worries. Arriving in Derby, you quickly understand why this place is home for mountain bikers. Everything is mountain bike related here. The main street is filled with bike shops, so if you get any bike dramas on the trails, you will have no issues getting replacement parts, and the trail entrance is literally down the road. Derby does have a range of different riding options as well, including a pump track and a more chiller fire road style rides around the town, as well as heaps of hiking. The bike shops here hire e-bikes and regular mountain bikes. There's also a few package deals to go along with the shuttles. Speaking of shuttles, there's so many different options you can choose from. I'll start by talking about the Bay of Fires shuttle service. I chose Vertigo shuttles for this. Essentially, the Bay of Fires trailhead is located roughly an hour drive up the mountain and is only accessible by allowed vehicles. I chose the first 13 Ks on the day I was there and this shuttle service lasted about 5 hours total. They picked me up from the main derby trailhead and dropped us off at the Bay of Fires trailhead and down we went. This trail was an incredible experience. Once at the bottom we were picked up and taken back to the first 13 halfway point and we got to finish the lower section again. Then they drove us back to derby. Another shuttle option you can choose is the blue tier atlas. I didn't ride this, but basically it's similar to the Bay of Fires shuttle except it's more pedally and you get to ride from the very top of Blue Derby, right down to the very bottom. You'll get to ride up to trails such as Atlas, Black Dragon and Trouty, but there are plenty of other different options for the way down. I'll definitely do this service next time I ride in Derby. Ooh, got a bit of mud on me face there. <laughs> Man, halfway down Derby, halfway down Bay of Fires, sorry. This is... This is something else, this place. Holy, it's pretty muddy. And my ass is very wet. This place is insane. Now for the main course, the Blue Derby Shuttles. Again, different shuttle companies will offer different services. I did the Black Stump service, which consists of being picked up from the bottom and taken to the main trailheads. From this point, you can ride down all the main trails. There's several different descents for all skill levels. And I actually thought the black and double black runs weren't overly difficult. They all had appropriate beelines and felt safe. I'm going to quickly rate my top three trails to ride here. Number three, Return to Sender. Back on Return to Sender, I run them. We missed just before. Oh, half half, um, I think has lots of cool, cool bits, but we're getting picked up from there you go, so. Detonate. This run is a blue and it's very long and decently filled with loads of different obstacles and a few extra cool stuff towards the bottom. Number two, detonate. Ready, yeah, detonate. Double black. That's what I'm interested in. Holy, that's crazy. Hey. An awful line there. Obviously, you don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, that's a tight right hander. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my. This is one of the shoots. 
This run is a double black, but I feel if you can ride a black diamond trail, you can ride this. This trail has the famous thread the needle between the rocks feature, as well as some of the most incredible rock slab riding in all of Australia. This one is seriously a must ride. Number one, Air Yagan. Air Yagan. Just gonna try and remember it. Cause some big jumps in it. Like that one, get a bit kicky. <laughs> that one, no worries. Yeah, I'm getting kicked on all of them. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah, how good. That one always lived my feet. Oh, rocky. Rock through there. Big. Oh, here's the big ones. Shit. Sweet. Oh. Got a bit booted. Oh. One on the fourth out. Got a couple little. Yeah. What the hell? Alright, this is that rock roll. <laughs> yeah! Boy! <laughs> I think you meant to go to the right, but... It's all good. Oh, that's scary. Hell yeah, such a good run. There you go. Whew! This is the best. Little jumps to end us. Yeah. Yeah. Egan is a black diamond flow trail with both big and medium sized jumps. The trail was comfortably my favourite and I think it still is one of my all time favourite trails. You'll need to take return to sender for about 400 metres to get to the start of this one. But it's an absolute must ride if you're a jumper or enjoy your flow. A few other must visits, the Derby Tunnel. This tunnel is such a unique experience. Into. Stick to the middle. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, it's again. Flickety Sticks was a really fun trail, also, and at the end, there's a giant rock slab that's worth a look. Oh, this is. Big boom. The exit's a bit nowhere. Blue Derby is a completely public mountain bike park. There is no paid entry and you can just ride there when you please. An e-bike here would be ideal to get the most out of this incredible place. A full top to bottom run is about 400 meters of vertical elevation and can be roughly 7Ks depending on which route you choose. Derby has a heap of different food options. We were recommended to head to the Dorset Hotel for dinner and it was a great meal and I'd also recommend it. There's plenty of other cafes and restaurants along the main street as well. So this pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about Blue Derby. There's an actual abundance of trails here and you will not get through them all in one day. So I'd suggest planning to stay here for at least three or more. Blue Derby is just amazing. The dirt was just so perfect and the place was just so beautiful. Leave a like if this video was informative and subscribe if you're new. I have a Mount Buller video currently in the works also. Cheers, legends.